What up, people? Y'all already know it's crunch time when y'all hear me. So I'm actually starting y'all off on an hour of the day, right? So we know that recent drop we had. Well, of course, we didn't second drop. But I always tell y'all about the pattern. Look at this M. This is so perfect. Got the M going on, right? The dub. The right side of the W got to be shorter than the left side. Boom. You come out level one, level two, level three. Reset. Y'all see how perfect that is. And this is on the hourly chart. Like I told y'all, these pop up on every time frame. But anyways, since it's an hourly, y'all can see we're literally forming an even larger W. And it's starting with another M formation. The M, then it's going to be another dub. So let me go y'all on the four hourly so y'all can see it even clearer. So boom, y'all see this W is about to be extremely serious. And you can even see in the EMA. Look at the 20 EMA. Boom. That and it's bouncing off the, the, the 50. This is a crazy W. So Bitcoin is about to make that final move I told y'all about. So let me zoom out even further so y'all can see it. So booms, I stayed in my last video. That our next level that it got to come to basically without stopping as y'all can see that basically that's what it did it's all the way up here to around forty thousand. but right now they're accumulating because they're going to break through the forty thousand with a nice candlestick as y'all can see about a big crazy dub going on but let me zoom out a little further into the weekly so i can so it make more sense to y'all so boom y'all see i already had this y'all can watch my previous content all this been set up and i've been telling y'all this specific points that we have to hit before they reverse the markets so the thing is this candlestick is going to come all the way up here to the third the right shoulder of the head and shoulder formation when we, when we drop back here in march of 2022 right so it'll be right here at 46,500. that's where we're going to reverse that so we're going to come back down and going to test this for support around 40,000. but after we drop below 40,000, it's over the markets will crash and y'all better jump ship but anyways but if we do bounce back up we could actually break through mess around and break through all this but like i said at the same time we still have not recovered these candlesticks right here and we have to come down and get it because as y'all can see this is the same move they did before the head and shoulders boom you see the right leg right here right now look at the top of this peak boom the right leg they're doing the exact same thing i'm telling y'all so we're going to come up here to that right leg, right? Or right shoulder, my bad. And then we're going to steadily just drop. And it's going to be a crazy drop. Like y'all see this. Literally came from up here, 10000 all the way down to around $3,800. But basically it recovered this very last candlestick right here. And that's what they're going to have to do right here. You see this candlestick? You got to come all the way down here and recover that. All the way down here. And that's around... I always say 5,500, you know what I mean? To keep it simple, but well, we're coming down here to these blue lines. But it's going to be a wick in order to keep this pattern correct, right? It's going to be a wick. It's, it's going to stay above $10,000 off top because it's a larger pattern. So the wick is going to be from 10000 all the way down to $5,500 basically within, within the, the, the week. So whenever this move happens, it's going to be an extremely fast move. But we will come back up. And basically do the same motion, but you know, go on, go on, and go much further. It'll be more of a steady move because it'll be something like this. But th this is about to be a, a crazy, another nice candlestick. You feel me? Cause you see, this candlestick went perfectly. You know what I'm saying? Broke through there, right through the middle. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Of the previous lines I had. So I'm telling y'all, y'all can read these charts. So basically, like I say, the max once Bitcoin hit around forty six, five hundred. That's it. And I wouldn't hop in on, you know what I mean? That's what altcoins and everything. You're going to have to base everything off Bitcoin because Bitcoin going to really show them moves first overall. But some coins are already, already you know what I'm saying, that they had they pump, they're going to drop first before Bitcoin drops. So y'all better keep an eye on that. And for, for my day ones, that, that always stay to the end, right? Y'all remember I, I gave y'all my number one pick where I'm really leveled up. Well, I got a bunch of other ones too. Not a bunch, but a few other ones I'm really focused. You know what I'm saying? I went long on. But my number one pick I gave to y'all, look at this. Look at this chart. Y'all can go right back and look at my, my video like, like two, three videos ago. I literally say it's my top pick for y'all. And this is the same chart I had, right? And I explained to y'all why I had to hit these certain levels and what it's going to do. Now look. Look at that video. Then look at this. I haven't changed that at all, right? 
And I told y'all when it was like right here before, you know what I'm saying? Basically at its low because it's, um, it's already a triple bottom right here. Now I take this off. Boom. Look at that. Y'all see where it reversed on that candlestick? Basically, you know what I'm saying? Reverse. And then now it's about to take a second move up. Boom. Literally exactly where I said I can go to because you can read the charts. Because you can look right here. You can see the line right here. I could look at I could just look at any chart and see what it's gonna do. And like I say, I always tell y'all market makers love doing things by threes. So boom, boom. We already got two tests right here. Perfectly. Right there around 80 cents. So we're gonna like like once again, we're gonna get a candlestick that's gonna break through this and come up here. Literally, we're gonna come all the way up to one cent. So I mean, y'all can still hop in now, honestly. You know what I mean what I'm saying? That's still a, a, at least a hundred percent move. But like I said. Then, then when Bitcoin go to 47, you know what I mean? We can actually, you know what I'm saying? We could actually come all the way up here, to be honest. Now, I also said this thing was at $4, $4 when it first came out. And, and almost, you know what I'm saying? All the circulation out. So it could actually go even higher. But at the very least, we're looking at the next level of being at a cent. And it's already set up. I'm just saying that's still another 100% move. And y'all, like, again, y'all can't tell me. I ain't tell y'all now. Because I already hopped in, you know what I'm saying? I'm enjoying this. Just been doing me right, and we've been doing y'all right, too. And like I said, I think it to that point. Y'all take all y'all earnings, all y'all profits, and, and do what y'all need to do. Because things about to get wild out here. But anyways, Anthony, I just said, and I find your advice at all. Y'all grown. Y'all make your own decisions. But like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.